Howdy guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just hanging out here at the boat, going through some of my lures, um, soft plastics, just rearranging a little bit. I am gearing up for trout season, comes in next week. So I'm rigging up a couple poles, then I get a little tackle box together because I'm not planning on being out long. So uh, just hang around and uh, I'll show you what I'm up to. Now I went through all my baits. These are what I got from Ted from Off the Hook Outdoors. I used a couple of these and I still got a ton of them out. But, hey Ted, I need some more black blue uh, uh, sticks made up. I'll get with you. I just haven't had a chance to get back to you on, on the order I want to make. But, uh, yeah, well, some dye, you know, garlic tip, uh, tip and glow for lures. But I'm going to put these back in here. I was just going through. I got some of the crappy lures. I'm going to throw them in my portable bag because I've been doing mostly all pan fishing, trying to pan fish, and nothing's biting. But uh, I'm going to throw them in there. And I got some smaller jigs from. Uh, BC Bait Co. He just opened up a shop over there in, just outside of Sandy Lake, PA. Uh, so if you're from the area, go check them out. Uh, but I'm going to throw these back in here. And I got my, some lures for walleye, uh, which I am gearing up, planning on hitting the walleye soon too so I gotta get them all rigged up um, but let me get all this together uh, back together and then we'll we'll get to uh, my setup for trout next weekend now this is my old trout uh, kit I used to carry around with me and because uh, I haven't I haven't fly fished in, oh, I don't know, 10 years, somewhere in there. But I got assortment of flies I have. I got a few more I need to get in here. And then uh, on the opposite side, we got some marabou jigs and all that. These are mostly like crappy. Uh, you can use these spinners for, for trout. Um, there's a couple of the bigger flies some hooks uh, and what I I you probably seen in one of my videos that I had a, a you know this bag uh, this is a shoulder type of bag for stream fishing and uh, I got oh, that's right I got something down in there I got some weights really don't need them but they're in there uh, I need to dig up my forceps. Uh, I'm going to stop at the store and get myself a uh, small net, and uh, I'm going to show you to show you how this. I mean, this thing's it's old, vintage, but hey, it still works. This thing just flips up over your shoulder like a side side pack and you can carry everything in adjustable this is I need to adjust this so I don't have that but uh, you can probably carry it I mean you can carry it either way which this has velcro well the little loop there in the velcro I ain't sure uh, put something in there but that's that would be perfect for uh, what I'm going to be doing get myself a pair of waders I'm only going to get the Die high waders. Might as well because I'm going to be doing some uh, spring wading fishing for walleye too. But I got two uh, ultralight reels that I have, I uh, lined up with a five pound, four or five pound test. Um, I was throwing this around earlier, a while back. Matter of fact, it's been a while since I had. I'm gonna have to restring this. Uh, 
Well, let's try it for some crappy. And uh, I got a snap swivel, little leader, little small spoon, curl tail jig. That'll be changed out. I'm going to be throwing uh, jigs for just for the uh, trout, the trout magnets. Here's another. Uh, this is a medium light I have set up for pan fishing, but I'll swap that out. It has this. It has a bobber on it, but straight tied to a paint jig with a I need to cut that off that's a, a gulp live you know one of those minnows um, they seem to really like the, the perch and crap they really seem to like that set up for some reason around here and then I can't get that to hook what the hell Greg well, I don't have my spectacles I forgot them at home Sucks to get old and I can't see shit. Uh, that eye sucks. It's one of those that don't fully close. But, uh, and then I, I rigged up my old, my fly rod. I do have the float line and about no oh, three and a half feet of uh, I think it's eight pound mono and we have a fly so we're going to try that and see see what we can get into but yeah opening day it's coming up. I have done my research on where this has been a few years since I've I've gone trout fishing and uh, where they've been stalking. So I know where they're where they're gonna be stalking at and there's places shit a ten minute drive from me. So I'll be hitting those. But uh, that's just a quick little video and uh I am going to be donating these to Bo. Uh, Bogley is the one that uh, sent me these. Uh, I think Bogley. Yeah, this channel changed. You all remind me. I have a sticker here. Buck. Bubba. Buck. He's the one that sent me this. Because he don't, they don't, they don't do walleye down there, and he sent me these. I told him I could use them, and uh, I kept I kept a few, uh, but these can get good use and a uh, good donation to my buddy uh, because he he sponsors me there for lures and that, and ice, mostly ice fishing lures, in which we didn't have an ice season this year. That freaking sucked. Uh, but I do, like I said, I kept only a few, you know, some hooks, and the, the walleye lures. And I'll be gearing up for that. And oh, here, uh, Joe, whoop, get hold of him. I took him out. Oh, good package. Uh, yeah, there goes Mirage. That's okay. But Joe. That parabellum fishing. I made an order of jigs. Uh, these are size two. Can't remember. I don't have my spectacles. He has them written on the back. But I'll put the link to him down below. And uh, I'll show you some more of these. Here are some. Uh, Oh God, I can't remember what the weight of them are. But 
and uh, I got some other lures which I'll grab real quick. I got them spread all over the place in here. Got the got these if you remember back a few videos videos ago from uh, National State Fishing and uh, Natural State Fishing. I don't know why I say natural, <laughs> but these are like a they call them the Helma granite, almost like a Vegemite. Those would work freaking great for bass on these jigs I got from Joe. Uh, I got a few different styles of those different weights, but it, that'll be perfect for bass fishing. But uh, I guess they got them from Jolly Bait Company. I want to check them out. But back to Joe's Lures, you got black with a red eye, green pumpkin color, copper. I wanted to try some different. And a uh, June bug. I think that's. Yep, and those are another green pumpkin, but a different size. Another June bug in a different size. But I'll probably even try uh, different lures on them. Give them a go. Uh, I want to get some lure, some more plastics from you, uh, Ted. Go with those, um, and then we're gonna we're gonna go out there. And once I get them all, I'm gonna do a video with the, about the jakes and about, with your baits, what will match up best. And then we're gonna go out and fish them. We're gonna try that, but we gotta wait. You know how it is. Weather's not cooperating. But uh, as for the boat, I. I have done a few more things to it. Let me turn you around and show you. Don't mind the mess. I got a mess going on. <laughs> but this hatch, I, the, the clasp pulled out of it. So it's rotted. Uh, I'm going to be changing the upper deck carpet. I doubt I'll be doing the lower deck. I'm just going to do the upper deck. Uh, and I think I'm going to I'm going to strip that carpet out, and I'm going to go with uh, some C deck, AMF foam or whatever. Get it through Amazon. But I've gone through some of the lures. I'm just nasty day today. It's raining like heck. It's only in the probably 40s, low 40s. So I'm just cleaning up, and I want to get this thing ready to go. Got to get it ready. But yeah, as you say, I still got, like, these are the lights. I still got to mount that. The, the control. I'm going to mount that. Clean everything up. Got the one seat in. Uh, I did bring down my grinder. But I don't have bolts. <laughs> they didn't send bolts with the freaking seat when I picked them up at Walmart. So, I'm going to do that. I got to get bolts. But uh, I am hoping to sell the 9.9. I need to get a couple pictures of it. I've got a couple guys interested because I am looking at a 20 horse, say so 20 horse. But this just doesn't get it up on plane. But we're going to try and get her ready for fishing season get her all ready and then I want to do I need to do a review on the bimini I have a subscriber asked me about it an update so we're gonna do an update here soon and 
that's about it right now. That's where I'm at. So just messing around in the garage. Trying to get things squared away. Like I said, trout season comes in uh, next weekend, the first. And I am I'm gonna try and either try and get both days in both get both days in Saturday and Sunday. Get some trout fishing in. So we're gonna try and make a video of that. So but hey guys, I do appreciate hanging out. Short little video, just kind of like, hey, what am I up to? But hey, thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for watching the video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, not the finger. Leave a comment. Hey, I always try to reply to my comments, and it's a good way for me to find your channel. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and click the subscription button. Hey, it's free. And mash the bell notification. It's the next time I put up a video, that will let you know that I just dropped a video. But hey, we're going to get on out of here. And uh, I'm getting hungry. i got to run into town. And we'll talk to you later.